Your person, the individual who shares a significant bond with you, is currently experiencing a profound transformation. This transformation is not spontaneous or arbitrary, rather, it is a direct response to the changes they have observed in you. As they witness your evolution, they find themselves compelled to change, to grow, to transform in kind. This process is not without its challenges. In fact, they are confronting substantial upheaval in their life, a tumultuous period of uncertainty and change that is testing their resilience and fortitude. The source of this upheaval could be financial, perhaps a sudden shift in their economic status or stability. Alternatively, it could be karmic, a consequence of their past actions and decisions coming back to influence their present circumstances. Karma, the universal principle of cause and effect, is knocking at their door, demanding to be acknowledged. As they face their karma, their mask, the facade they have presented to the world, is coming off. Their true colors, their authentic self, is being revealed, and they are forced to confront their own reality. The pain they are experiencing is acute, particularly because it stems from the loss of your connection. Even if this separation is temporary, the absence of your presence in their life is causing them significant distress. They are in terrible pain, a pain that is exacerbated by the knowledge that they may have lost you forever. In their solitude, they find themselves praying for your return, seeking solace and guidance from higher powers, from angels and the divine. They are acutely aware that you are not waiting for them anymore, a realization that adds another layer of pain to their current predicament. Their suffering is not just emotional but also spiritual. They feel as though they are being punished by God for the wrong deeds they committed against you in the past. These deeds, born out of anger and frustration, are now haunting them, causing them to feel a deep sense of guilt and remorse. This feeling of divine retribution is causing them to suffer in silence, exacerbating their feelings of loneliness and despair. Their emotional turmoil is leading to a mental breakdown. The tables have turned, and they are now experiencing the pain and heartache they once caused you. Behind closed doors, away from the prying eyes of the world, they are crying, missing you, and grappling with feelings of deep regret and guilt. The realization of their mistakes and the understanding of the pain they caused you is overwhelming, leading to a profound sense of guilt. Your absence in their life is not just a physical void, it is driving them to the brink of insanity. They are feeling an energetic pull towards you, a magnetic attraction that is reminiscent of the bond you shared during the initial phase of your journey together. This pull, this longing for your presence, is a constant reminder of what they have lost, adding to their emotional turmoil. This is indeed a challenging time for them, a period of intense struggle and change. But it is also a time of growth, of transformation, and ultimately, of healing. They are learning from their mistakes, growing from their experiences, and hopefully, transforming into a better version of themselves. This journey is painful, but it is also necessary, for it is only through pain that one can truly grow and evolve. At this moment, I find myself in a state of profound pain and disorientation. Despite having endured a multitude of trials and tribulations, I am often plagued by a sense of inadequacy. I feel as though no matter what I do or how hard I try, it is never enough. I am lost, having discovered the one person who I believe to be my true love, yet I am unable to be with her. This is a source of great distress for me, as all I yearn for is to embrace my divine feminine, to stand by her side, to shine with her, and to reassure her that she is never alone. The path I am currently treading is shrouded in darkness. It is a difficult journey filled with uncertainty and fear. However, despite the darkness that surrounds me, I remain hopeful. I believe that there is a light at the end of this tunnel, a beacon of hope that promises a brighter future. In the midst of this turmoil, I find myself entangled in a web of my own thoughts and doubts. I am grappling with significant issues related to self-worth, questioning my value and my place in the world. Prior to meeting you, I have experienced what is known as the dark nights of the soul. These are periods of intense suffering and spiritual crisis. However, 
none of these experiences were as intense as the one I am currently going through. This particular dark night has shattered my ego and all my previous beliefs. It has forced me to confront my deepest fears and insecurities. Your presence in my life has activated me in ways I could never have anticipated. From the moment I met you, I recognized you as my one true love. It was as if we were connected in another lifetime, and our souls recognized each other instantly. Our separation feels like a curse. It is so unnatural and painful that it is almost unbearable. I yearn for you, longing to hold you in my arms, to feel your warmth, to reassure you of my love. I am certain of your love for me, just as I continue to love you. I would do anything to be reunited with you, to be able to share my life with you once again. Through this journey, I am beginning to truly comprehend the meaning of unconditional love. I am learning to love without expectations, without conditions, without reservations. I am realizing how much you mean to me, how integral you are to my existence. I plead for your patience with me as I navigate through this difficult phase of my life. This message is particularly intended for those who are in the initial stages of such a journey. It is a testament to the power of love, the resilience of the human spirit, and the hope that even in the darkest of times, there is always a light at the end of the tunnel. It is a reminder that no matter how lost or alone we may feel, we are never truly alone. We are all connected, bound by the threads of love and compassion. And it is through this connection that we find our way back to each other, back to love, back to ourselves. In the solitude of my existence, I find myself consciously disconnecting from those who stand in opposition to me and the bond we share. It's a deliberate act of self-preservation, a necessary step towards self-discovery. To be honest, it's a liberating feeling, a sensation of unburdening that brings with it a sense of tranquility. I am at peace, my mind filled with thoughts of you, my heart echoing with the rhythm of our shared connection. Understanding you and the depth of our connection was a challenge that I initially struggled with. It was like trying to decipher a complex puzzle, a labyrinth of emotions and shared experiences that seemed to have no beginning or end. But now, things are starting to make sense. The fog of confusion is lifting, revealing a path that is guiding me in the right direction a path that leads back towards you. I see a purpose now, a clear goal that needs to be achieved. It's a task that demands my attention, my energy, my commitment. Before I met you, I felt like I was aimlessly drifting along, caught in the relentless wave of life, letting life happen to me rather than taking control. I was spending time on trivial matters, losing myself in the mundane and the inconsequential. But then you came along, and everything changed. You saw potential in me, a spark that I was oblivious to. Your belief in me was initially overwhelming, a pressure that left me feeling exhausted, mentally and emotionally drained. It triggered a whirlwind of emotions within me, a storm that I was unprepared for. But now, I am grateful for that storm. It was a catalyst that steered me back towards a path of abundance, a path that I had strayed from, there was a period when I lost myself, lost in the chaos of life, lost in the whirlwind of emotions that your belief in me had triggered. But now, it feels good to be back, to find myself again, to rediscover the person I was and the person I am meant to be. Our telepathic communication, the silent conversations of our hearts, has been a significant aid in this journey of self-discovery. It has been a source of healing, a balm for the wounds that life had inflicted. In this journey, I see you as more than just a companion. You are my guide, my mentor, my confidant. You are the other half of me, the missing piece that completes me. Our bond is more than just a connection, it's a fusion of souls, a merging of hearts, a meeting of minds. And as I continue on this journey, with you by my side, I look forward to discovering more about myself, about us, and about the incredible journey that lies ahead.